What's up, everybody? Back with another fan shaped reaction, and this time we're gonna be checking out the new Lovelies mini album. Um, now, Lovelies, I've heard, is uh, a very cute group, which is actually like usually a style that I don't particularly lean towards. But um, with this comeback, I got to like see some reactions to the um, single. Uh, Obliviate and heard that, and I enjoyed it and heard it was kind of like going a different direction, a much more mature direction than the music before. So um, I'm hoping that uh, that carries throughout the project um, and uh, see if we enjoy it and if um, I should even give all the uh, earlier stuff a chance. I know the fan is going to say yes, of course. Um, and so um, I'm, I'm going to see what kind of vibe I can get from them from this uh, first project, though. Um, well, not first project, seventh mini album. So, yeah, let's check out Obliviate, starting with, I mean, let's check out Unforgettable, starting with Unforgivable. I mean, Unforgettable, I can't say words. So the little, got a little intro here. Dig the production of it so far. Cool with the brass and strings. Or is that woodwind? Woodwind. I'm sorry. That's cool. Let's see how. Let's listen to Oblivion again. Some lovely side chaining. Mm. That, that lovely little pat stab. The layering, the way it traded there, the vocal. Yeah, I heard that sounds like, ooh, this is kind of interesting. There's no like big climax and when it hits to the chorus, but it still feels nice the whole way through. Because it goes like the more groove route instead of like hard hitting. Because if they wanted to like go more hard hitting, they'd probably have like a lot more cymbals, kick, harder kick come in than the chorus. But instead they keep it. The groove in, and I like the. <laughs> and there's like a lot of different effects that are going at cool rhythm, rates, subdivisions. Modulation. Like all that get the groove still going. It just always get that constant rhythm outside of just that four on the floor. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a good, really cool vibe. But here's Dream and a Dream. Mm. 
Oh. I wasn't expecting to do this. I thought it was gonna be like halftime. So they went ahead and let us slow down for here for you to fall into that second part of the dream. Hmm. Interesting. To go into like that chromatic in the end of the line. Them chords. <laughs> the way the chord progression is, and like all the chromatic notes really add to like the fantastical vibe of this song. Like the insert of the uh, reversed uh, symbols in there too really add to the trippy kind of vibe of it. There's the high note, that nice tonic note. I was expecting that, da -da -da -da, but they went ahead and let you hang. And they just leave it there. Hmm. I don't know, man. It was just so fast that it's like, how do I process this? <laughs> but here's never a secret. Sounds like a synth bass. This sounds so nice and soothing on this. Mm. Take us away in this bridge. Didn't expect this much of a key change here. Now we're back. Feels like a like a mel uh, lullaby to me. I don't know why I was gonna say melody. Not bad, not bad. Probably wouldn't return to that one. But let's see if memories can get me.
the mythic chords. It's kind of an organ-ish like. sound really good together. Like their voices sound really nice. And in this project they're definitely playing with a lot of different styles and doing some interesting things with the production. I just don't know if I'm like completely sold on all of the choices still. Worry dogs. Like the harmonization here. Chimiters, or your cell phone. I like the string embellishment there, that's a very nice touch. Ooh, guitar solo. out of the two like slower songs I like Never Secret more but this but this song is really pretty because like pretty much through the entire piece there was always harmony in the vocals Oh, 
Well, that was nice. Um, yeah. So, definitely was an interesting listen. Um, it was cool to hear, like, like I said before, like them try, will put together these these different types of uh, styles and, and try and mesh them all together in interesting ways. Um, just, just like you know what I've come to expect from K-pop, but still in like ways that I didn't expect in this project. Um, I, I still uh, uh, on the fence about Dream and a Dream. I'm probably gonna um, add that to to the playlist and see if I keep it there. Um, but the rest of it, it is just like it's nice, but not what I want to return to like even the intro unforgettable was cool but I'm like it's not enough for me to you know add that intro to my playlist either um, but obliviate for sure um, is like right up my alley uh, I, I dig that kind of smooth uh, yet upbeat sound that they presented on that one um, but yeah I, I've pretty much already was planning on checking out the back catalog um, since I was checking out this. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely see if um, anything prior to this um, is up my alley. But with this project, it, it was some pretty interesting, um, you know, music, wonderful vocals all the way throughout. Um, just not a lot that particularly caught my ear that made me go, ooh. I love this. It's just like, oh, this is nice. Um, but yeah. So those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, and uh, yeah, until next time. Much love. Peace. Three.